I genuinely am not just saying this to be like I miss you guys I truly missed picking up the camera and speaking like I was vlogged every single day every weekday last week so like just doing me and sh being like like the other day I went to go get capers and I was like I really need to tell you guys about this because I couldn't find them and then was like no don't I put it on stories because you know still interesting content found the capers in the end lovely little vegan shop down the road um, it's not even hot, I've just got myself flustered to talk about capers. Genuinely miss vlogging, I had a yearning for it in my soul. So, we're back today, we are back and today's a good day because I'm getting my hair done. And boy oh boy do I need my hair done. Um, the lovely Georgia reached out before I moved and was like, can I be your hairdresser? And I was like, yeah, honestly, sure. So today we are doing a little bit of a hair transformation. We're going more ginger. And I haven't told her this yet, but I think I want a full fringe. Not like a full fringe, like a trendy fringe. <laughs> so I'm gonna vlog that. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well. Combine the two, um, and then I'm gonna do a main channel video for you guys as well, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll, try, I'll do like a rapid fire update. Cute title, rapid fire update. One, went to see Spider-Man. Homecoming. Homecoming. No, far from home. On Sunday. Fucking brilliant. Honestly, I can't tell you enough. I love Marvel. I love Marvel. But this film was brilliant. It's one of my favourites. Light-hearted. Fun plot. Smart plot. Like Jake Gyllenhaal's character. I don't I didn't read the comics, but like some saying when he got came on, I was like, he's a bit naff. I'm not gonna give it away, but there's like plot twists. It's like a smart it's good um last time i spoke it was date night friday night sam came home a little bit late so as a punishment i ate the ritz i bought him and posted on instagram being like eating my ritz like i bet your ritz <laughs> he came home nearly automatically after that like i posted the instagram and he was like on my way home poops i'm like we ended up getting really drunk at the flat, just like talking about life and like all of that. And then we went to leave to go on our night out and I fell. <laughs> and I was bleeding so hard and we were both just so drunk and Sam was just mopping blood like onto the pavement. And I was like, Sam, it, li it literally looked like a murder scene. So we were gone for about two minutes, went to the corner shop, got some ice cream and came back. <laughs> Then Sam's friends came the next day, which we weren't planning on doing. They literally just showed up. I hadn't met either of them and ended up getting very drunk again. Became best friends with Mel. Mel watches my YouTube, so we did. <laughs> she was watching my YouTube prior. And then by the time we got a bit drunk, she was like, I like your content. It's cool. Hi, Mel. What's up? Um, had a really fun night. We got um, a bit too drunk. Me and Mel and ganged up on the boys. Yeah, we <laughs> we ganged up on the boys. Got a bit angsty, and then at one point we sang "Love Bug," like, but not sang. We screamed "Love Bug," like our boyfriends had both just broken up with us, and that was the only thing it would take for us to heal. We were like, "God, you are the most yesterday," like that. Did you know that song was that Miley Cyrus? I found out the other day because I watched the documentary Chasing Happiness. It's very good. I'd recommend it. Okay, I have to go because <laughs> this is why I've got asthma. I think this is what brings it on. I'm talking too fast. I've got to get ready because I've got to shoot some content before I leave for an ad that I'm doing with a pretty cool client, guys. I think you're going to be impressed when this one goes live. Um, and then I've got a skedaddle. Okay, that is me all done on my work. Hopefully that's all past. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but when it comes to influencer work, oh, if 
fucking hate that term. I don't see myself as an influencer, but just like the wider term. Um, basically, with a lot of the bigger companies, you have to give them the content and they'll accept it or deny it, um, and then you have to redo it and whatnot. So it's a lot more of a task than you guys may think of just holding up a product and being like, love this, and then po like posting one photo and then that's done. There is a lot of back and forth and it is a it's an arse ache, so that's done. Hopefully, I really liked how it came out, so hopefully that won't be an issue. I feel like I should probably show you a little summer summer that came for the flat and we are loving it. Um, so it's from, oh, I'll just show you. Also, can you, we don't have a drying rack. So Sam has now utilized our gorgeous made.com bike as a drying rack. Last night he did a wash and instead of putting it like up on places to dry, he put a towel down and just placed all his socks on the ground, like a collage. And I was like, Joe, I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna be the like moany girlfriend that's like, you're doing it wrong. So I just sat and watched him do it. And I was like, boys are another creature, man. Like the other day he picked up a dead beetle that was on the ground and put it on the side, like on the kitchen cabinet and was like, I'll put it there. I no, no, you don't do that. Um, so yeah, he's now hanging up all his clothes on our lovely made.com bike. Thanks, Sam. What I wanted to talk to you about is our new chair. It is absolutely stunning. And um, we got it for 207 pounds, I think which is, I can't tell you, it is so much cheaper than the other mid-century style chairs um, I saw online. And the quality is absolutely, I've got, I wore a mohair jumper yesterday and that's everywhere. Um, I can't tell you the quality, it is absolutely stunning. Um, it came from Germany, I think it came from Germany, but um, no like thingy fees, which is amazing, which I thought we were gonna be hit with but I absolutely love it. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow we have the last bits for the flat for now. Sorry, not the flat, the living room. We have our lights coming, um, well, uh, like a light stand, because we do have a lampshade right here. Oh God, I've got so much to show you. Oh, um, oh, <laughs> you guys literally don't care. Uh, literally just me thinking this is exciting. Um, we have some light stands coming tomorrow, which my dad has shipped for us, which is very kind. Um, and then that will be it for the living room for now. I can't think of anything else we want to add. We're going to get a new neon sign, but for now, that's the living room done. Um, or well, tomorrow it will be done. Yeah, I'll show you the lampshade that's going up. So this is from Made.com, which they thought was lost in the post, but it arrived on Saturday, so I'm very happy with it. It's the Java lamp in large. Absolutely gorgeous. It has like two tiers, as you can see, and it's all bamboo. So it will match the coffee table, an absolute dream. Um, because the, as gorgeous as the bamboo coffee table is, it looks a little bit random at the moment. Um, so with that, perfect. And then and then I put on my little sweet pea and willow. Oh God, don't drop it. Head and I absolutely love it. I think it's warming on Sam. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think it adds a bit of character. It ties in the black and white with the rug and the print. Oh yeah, the print is here now. The mirror, I listened to you guys. You were right, it was too small. So the mirror's there for now, um, but we've put the print there. So this is what, it's a little bit messy. Well, it's literally not a little bit messy at all. But that's what we're looking like at the moment. And then we're gonna have the lamp, either there or there overarching over the telly, and then that's it. I cannot believe we've done it in one week, or well, week and a half. And then I think we're gonna do the bedroom next, I think, um, or the dining room, because it'd be quite nice to have because the kitchen's basically done, so it'd be quite nice to have all of this done first. But I'm gonna be, so when when it's all done, I'm gonna be like, what am I gonna do with my time? Because I love like going online for home stuff, so once it's over, I'm gonna be like, oh, 
what do I do now? So if anyone wants the flats furnished by me, and I mean this, please hit me up because I will do that. Um, might, just become, might mess around and become an interior designer, don't worry about the boys. By the way guys, my fake tan today is so patchy and so bad, so if you've spotted that, Please don't put it in the comments because I know I just cannot be bothered to um, get it all off and do again just to go to the hairdressers. Sorry, Georgia. Right, I'm going to go because I've got to edit a little bit before I head to the train station. So I think I'll see you on the train. Oh, shall I show you my outfit? I'll show you my outfit. Okay. Okay. Right. This is the knitted two-piece that I was um, showing you guys in the haul and I really 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 like it it's from the conscious collection um but it's super slouchy super comfy and um I love it I love the color everything everything I love about it um I wore it on Saturday night and I think I'm just gonna wear it the same way with um Converse and my little Azarina bag, as always. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Bye. Hello. Hope you guys like it. Put your mini hair stylist. You can get this look completely free. <laughs> it's actually just extensions. <laughs> This is all glue. <laughs> We're calling it the dog ears. I look like, you know, when people put a raccoon on their head or something. <laughs> Did you see that tweet the other day? The girl was like, a picture of her and her boyfriend on their holiday away together. And she sent it to her mum. It was like, um, lovely picture, sweetheart, but you know, you can see your loo there. And she comes like, no, it's Andrew's knee cream. She was like, Dad zoomed into it, he knows what it is. Choose me, Chris. The colour is already just looking I love light. it. It's so, so much, much better. It's so much better. I bought a load of new clips today and they've just literally like, I'm like, well, I was just, for like blow dry, I want to do like a long blow dry. Was it from like AliExpress? No, it's just like from, well, from like my hair supplies that I normally use. I was just like, I've broken the clips, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> they were screwed anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, this one time I'd done a fake tan before a hairdressing appointment and because I was like under all the lights for like um, dye like thingy and I hadn't washed off my fake tan right. and you know when you get like rainbow sweat yes. from a fake tan I came out and everyone was like I was wearing this white linen shirt I remember it like it was yesterday and I literally was rainbow down the sides because I was like being profusely sweating That's so funny Oh my god, could you imagine? Like really like rainbow <laughs> down my side. I can't wear like white. How does, how does that work? Like why do you sweat rainbows? Cause you're magic. Cool. So I'm just using, um, just using the muck heat protection and I'm just using- Are you talking to the camera? Oh, no, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I was just pointing at that, I wasn't talking. But you're like, it's so, so, so nice. Welcome to my channel. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> Hi, I have a fringe and I'm even more ginger. Um, let me put it down so you can see. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, as you can see, things have changed. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I added all the clips in. I mean, I haven't edited it yet, so I hope I do. Fran, put all the clips in. Um, and you'll see, I think it cut out just as I was getting a fringe cut. So this 
This is the final scenario. Our oh, flat is slowly, we're slowly starting to let the sands slip a little bit in terms of tidiness. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It feels, it really feels like a difference. Like, moved to Manchester, I've got a fringe. Beautiful story, a beautiful story of the ages. Um, I, I love it. I love Georgia. Um, honestly, I want Georgia to be my mate. So obviously she is Stafford based. So to all my people that are that watch me from my hometown, she's about half an hour away from Shrewsbury and about an hour on the train from Manchester, but it is worth it because she is brilliant. She rents a chair at the salon um, and she always will never double book someone so when she's having that one person she will just have that person she won't be like going from one person to one person which I think is lovely it's like a personal um it's a bit more like personal super 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 talented and really just like I can't stress enough like she even said when we we're having a chat about what we wanted to do we'd done a consultation before which is really nice so she knew already knew what we wanted um like a proper consultation um, but she was like, I've been on your Pinterest. And I was like, what? So she goes on her client's Pinterest before an appointment. So if someone hasn't got photos and isn't explaining it properly, obviously only if they have Pinterest, that she can work out what they want a bit more, like without having to just articulate it from a photo, which I think is brilliant. So smart. Um, but yeah, I honestly, I love it. Um, I had it up before, I really liked, just that I hadn't tried that. I really like that as well. I like such an adult with a fucking fringe, you're joking me. So I will put the before and afters in now as well um, because it was looking ratty. It really was. Didn't realize how quickly, um, where's all that fluff come from? Um, how quickly my roots grow. Um, but yeah, brilliant. Um, what's next on the agenda? Yeah, so it's now sunny, but it was pissing down and all I wanted, all I wanted was a trip out to go get an Itsu. So I was like begrudgingly ordered it on delivery and now it's, the sun is shining and it looks pretty beautiful. So that's great. That was my one trip out for the day. I've given myself a um, little quota that I'll leave the house once a day, even if it's something really small, I'll do that because, or else I just get cooped up and weird. Like a little, like, one of those, like, in rats and stranger things. Just, like, shake it about and stuff, and then eventually it explodes. So I've given myself that task, and that was my one my one little outing of the day, and now it's gone. Because I got it on delivery. Um, I'm trying to help think what else I've got to tell you about. Oh, oh, um, I've got a lighting delivery coming, as I was saying yesterday. So that completes the living room so hopefully that's soon but apart from that i will god i can't sorry if i'm properly staring at myself in the screen it's weird it's weird okay right i am going to get uh, i think a little bit of okay, bye. i'm still recording cool is this good vlog vlog footage? There is something so this is probably the most unsafe. There is something so close to my heart about chili chicken udon from Itsu. It makes my soul so happy. Although we don't have sriracha and I normally have it with sriracha, but happy. done it right I cannot be bothered to film any more of this I'm gonna get it all out and then I'll do a little time lapse of me putting it up 
Okay, bye. Guys, I have a sweat coming from every single orifice. That was, why is that so hard? It looks amazing. And I took the bulb that was supposed to go on the monkey light. I might see what it looks like with the bulb, but I might see what it looks like, the big bulb with the monkey light, but I'll show you the bulb I've put in for the time being. It's like a really big, gorgeous filament style bulb. Um, and as I said earlier in the vlog, this is from made.com and I was worried for like a second that it wasn't gonna fit um, on the thing just because the attachment for any light fixtures is quite thin and this is quite heavy. So I was like, oh my God, it's not gonna hold it. But it has, and I think it looks amazing. So this was gifted, the stand, the lamp was gifted from May.com and this stand was from Lights For Fun. The prices for Lights For Fun are so, so good for like the styles. They've accidentally sent us a chandelier, which is gorgeous. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with that because we don't have any wall lights. Um, not wall lights, ceiling lights. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's hot. We need a fan, that's what we need. Um, so now I'm gonna work out a place to put it. Look at the carnage I created. Ugh, I'm an idiot. So, the first idea I had was a... Proof doesn't give it gets time to shine at all. No, I don't like it like that. Let's try this one. doesn't help because it's broad daylight so I can't really because obviously this is maybe if I put it here do you know what it's really nice to add height because everything's so low like we don't have anything we don't have a ceiling light to add like to make the room look taller so it's nice having height for the first time in the room when I just look at my when I look at the living room like this all I want to do is buy plants like I would love this room to be like run riot with plants See, I don't like it like that because then I feel like it blocks off the open planness of the room. So like walking in, seeing that's quite a, it's just there. Hmm. You guys are probably finding this so boring. Right, I'll do some rejigging. I'll do some rejigging and see, show you guys the final product. Project, Pro product. So, it's a little bit later and I've just been getting dressed and ready to go on a little day evening with Sam and I've got on my sunglasses, just prepared. It wasn't ever sunny enough to put them on my eyes or on my head and then the second I place them onto my head, it starts torrentially raining torrentially 
raining. These the lovely little gardens down there are having a nice, nice little bathe. Yeah, here's me thinking I'm looking all cute in summery. And then, that. Um, shall I show you what I'm wearing? I think we're just, I mean Sam, I bet you Sam will text me now being like, can you be bothered with the rain? Um, but my plan was to, bloody hell right, sorry, me doing my fringe is going to get quite annoying, isn't it? Okay, what I am wearing, let me push my little makeup box. I did makeup in about three minutes. I could not be bothered. I had a very basic makeup situation and I made it even more basic. I took my foundation off, put on some Wonder Glow, um, put some concealer on, did my brows with an auburn pencil and did a little slick of mascara and that is it. Um, what I am wearing, oh god. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is the worst, I sit down. I am wearing, is let me just hide the slip, is this uh, denim jacket from Primark and it was £15, I got it in the biggest size, I love it, I think it looks really authentic. Um, and then this Nobody's Child dress, which is in, is it gonna, yeah, the buttermilk uh, daisies and like a little cream mini dress, it's got a little slit, I don't want to show you my thighs but yeah. You cannot really tell at all. I need a big mirror though now, let's be honest. But um, yeah, oh, I've placed it here for now, just because I think that looks really cozy, but I think it'll probably be moved around because I can't leave shit alone. So that's there for now and look, it's a little bit dark. So it looks all cozy and homely. So Sam can come home back tonight from a long day of work and come home to this beautiful creation <sighs> I am very proud to call this my home very proud right I'm going to call that a day on vlogging oh that was my bag <laughs> I'm going to call that a day on vlogging um, just because I don't really want to be out in the rain in Manchester vlogging we're just going to get a blow-up mattress for Sam's sister because she's coming here this weekend and we're going to go for a bite, bite to eat and call it a date night. I think this is going, I don't know if this is going Friday or Sunday for you guys, I haven't decided. I don't really have a video schedule as you probably noticed. Um, but if you want a schedule I'll give you a schedule up to you guys. I'm thinking of doing a little focus group of you guys that watch my videos and I'll give you some questions of what you want to see, what you don't want to see because right now it's such a close little knit group of guys that watch this and I, and I want to make you guys happy with all of that so um, drop me a DM if you're watching this and then I'm going to put you all into a group chat and we can talk about what you want from my content, days, how many vlogs a week, all of that. Cute. Okay. I'm going to go. This rain is bumming me out, dudes. So much for sunglasses on my head. But yeah, that is everything for me. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.